What up guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for stopping by. We are still working on the 350Z, but we are including the STI a little bit today. We just need to deep clean the Z, most importantly, because when I bought it, it was like full of mud, it was raining in Yuma when I got it. And we're gonna take the wheels off, put it on jack stands, and just uh, make this thing look really pretty. quick walk around to show you guys how dirty this thing actually is. Let's go right under here in this fender well. We got tar, mud, got paint chipping off, we got a fix. We have all of our wiring for our headlights exposed, full of mud. Lovely. Um, we need to get a whole new fender liner and everything. Up we go to the back. Looks very similar. We found out it does have spacers in the back, as well that fitment in the back is good, but there's not any on the front. So we need to get spacers in the front. Mud, we look like we have a fender liner here. Just need to spray this out, degreaser, etc. There's mud all in the exhaust pipes down there. I actually found this thanks to Fat Fender Garage, their local truck shop. They are sponsored by Meguiar's and they hooked it up with some bug and tar remover in a can. I haven't seen this before, but I'm gonna spray this around every fender well on everything to try and get all the tar off this car. Um, we power washed it, it's coming coming along pretty well, but I think this will help remove some stuff, so let's try it out. Never used it before, so we'll see. Car in here. Soak it. Here we go. Trevor, I just can't get this scratch out, man. I mean, I keep scrubbing harder, but it's not coming out. What do you think, What I mean, what do you think I should do? Dude, it just needs more soap, dude. Soap? More soap, dude. Oh. That's all it needs, dude. Oh, okay. Oh. And just like that, we fixed it. things up right now we're almost done we got all the dirt um, let's take one final look at the car looking super clean Excited to see it in such good shape for the first time. That'll be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to do some LED lights on it next, which I'll show you guys in the next video. I'm trying to keep the consistency up, so maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe the day after, not sure yet. Before we go, Trevor just started live streaming on Twitch him editing photos, and he's going to be doing a ton of car photos and things like that. You guys can learn a ton of stuff from my photos have been like... I hit a block with photography where I was just like, eh, I'd rather just focus on video. And Trevor showed me a couple editing tricks. I'm like so stoked about photo photos. If you check out my Instagram, you can see I kind of like stepped it up recently. That's totally because of Trevor. So if you guys want to watch him edit some photos, learn a couple things, hang out with him, chat him, whatever, I'll link his Twitch down below. I appreciate it, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later. Later.